Even in 2023, you can still find places where modern humans have never been. Imagine living on one of such isolated islands. You wouldn't know about modern civilization or have seen a person from the outside world. One such island is located in the Bay of Bengal in India. It's called North Sentinel Island, and getting there is strictly forbidden by law since the mid-20th century. Even if you try to reach there, the Indian Coast Guard won't allow it. But that's not the only hurdle you'll face. Say you have decided to reach this island in a small boat. The water is crystal clear, and you can see all sorts of fish swimming around as well as some gorgeous coral reefs. And then you see the island in the distance. It looks like a dream come true. But before you can even think about getting any closer, you notice some dots on the shore. Suddenly, something whizzes past you and lands in the water. Wait a minute, is that an arrow? Yep, and the next one hits the side of your boat. Looks like someone on the island really doesn't want visitors. Turns out the dots on the shore are people, the local Sentinelese tribe, armed with spears and bows. They start shouting something at you in a language you can't understand, but their gestures imply that you should leave immediately. If that wasn't clear enough, they throw spears and shoot arrows at you. Yeah, that's definitely a clue you're not welcome here. It's not just you they're aggressive towards, though. They're known for guarding their island fiercely and don't want anyone else to come in. Even helicopters can be attacked when they fly too close. That's why the authorities have made it illegal to visit the island. It's not just to keep tourists safe, but also to protect the islanders themselves. The Sentinelese people have lived in isolation for thousands of years, and they have no immunity to modern diseases. Even a simple cold could wipe them out. Despite the risks, some people have tried to make contact with the Sentinelese tribe. They want to befriend them and learn about their way of life. And in some cases, they have succeeded. But it's definitely not recommended. You never know how the locals will react. Interestingly, North Sentinel Island was visited by an officer named Morris Vidal Portman in 1880. He found that the island was surrounded by coral reefs and limestone and had fertile soil perfect for growing coconut palms. He spotted several villages on the island, but didn't approach the locals or explore the island further. Maybe he sensed that it was best to leave this paradise alone. In the past, researchers have attempted to establish friendly relationships with them by offering them fish as gifts, which the locals accepted but still refused to allow any visitors to approach their home. Despite their complicated language, modern people were able to communicate with the islanders over several decades. And in 1991, one of the locals approached the boat that was carrying the gifts for the tribe and accepted them. In the same year, a group of locals even boarded the boat and took a bag of coconuts brought to them by a team of anthropologists. This was one of the last positive interactions with the tribe as India's government has prohibited any interaction with the Sentinelese for their safety. There is another beautiful island located 25 miles off the coast of Brazil, which has a lighthouse that serves as evidence of modern humans' presence. However, there are no people on the island, and the Coast Guard occasionally check the lighthouse to ensure that no strangers have visited the place. People are not allowed to visit this island for their own good since it can be dangerous. So, what's wrong with Snake Island? The name will give you a hint. It's got like 4,000 snakes all over the place. Basically, one every 10 square feet. They slither on the ground and hang from the trees. And these are not just any snakes, but some of the most venomous in the world. They're called golden lance heads, and they only live on this island. The snakes are so savage that they specialize on hunting birds that come here to rest during their long flights. The island used to be connected to Brazil, but it got separated by the sea about 10,000 years ago. And since then, these snakes have ruled the roost. They're the kings of the island, and they have no predators to fear, but they don't have a lot of food options either, so they evolved to have super venomous bites to take down their prey easily. Anyway, enough about snakes. Let me tell you about another creepy island in Mexico. It is located in one of the canals in the area called Xochimilco, just 11 miles away from Mexico City. It's not forbidden to visit or anything, but it's pretty scary anyway. So have you heard of the Island of the Dolls? It's a creepy place filled with dolls hanging from trees and buildings. A guy in the 50s moved here alone from Mexico City and started hanging them up, and continued to do so for decades, making the place look like a haunted doll graveyard. But wait, it gets even creepier. The dolls have deteriorated over time, covered in moss and turned green. Some say they come to life at night. If that doesn't give you the heebie-jeebies, I don't know what will. 
Now, let me tell you about Bouvet Island, one of the most mysterious places on Earth. It's located in the South Atlantic Ocean, 1,600 miles away from South Africa and 1,100 miles from Antarctica. It's super difficult to reach, and normally you can only do so from large ships passing by. The island is almost entirely covered by a glacier, and at its center, there is a volcanic crater. The only inhabitants of this place are penguins and seals. It's a perfect location for someone who wants to be alone, away from civilization. It was discovered in 1739 by a French explorer, but they didn't write down the location, so for almost 70 years nobody knew where it was. In the early 19th century, it was rediscovered, but it wasn't until 1927 that someone actually set foot on its shores. Fast forward to the mid-20th century, and some people decide to build a weather station there. When they arrived, they found something super weird, an empty lifeboat just chilling in a lagoon with a bunch of seals. It was in good shape, and there were oars and a buoyancy tank nearby. There weren't any markings or signs of who it belonged to, but it seemed like whoever had been on it had escaped from a wrecked ship. Strange thing though, there were no footprints or signs of people on the island. So where did the sailors go? Nobody knows. Let's finish with a completely safe and cute island in the Bahamas called Pig Beach. It's not the official name of the place, but everyone calls it this way because the island is home to lots of pigs. They spend their days swimming, sunbathing on the beach, exploring the jungle, and begging tourists for food. What's really cool is that you can stay at a hotel on a nearby island and take a boat to visit the pigs. They're super friendly and love attention, especially when there's food involved. And thanks to the kindness of tourists and locals, these cute little pink and brown piglets are able to survive on the island. No one knows for sure how the pigs ended up on the island. According to legend, they survived a shipwreck and swam to safety on Pig Beach. There are also a few cats and goats on the island, which adds to the animal farm vibes it's giving out. So if you're looking for a unique and adorable experience, Pig Beach is definitely worth a visit. Just remember to bring some snacks for the piggies. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.